Hi aspirants, welcome to Vishnu IS Academy. On the eve of Babu Jagjeevan Ram Jayanti, today, on uh, remembering the great parliamentarian, today we are here to describe the uh, distinction between scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Why uh, have to, why we have to take the difference between scheduled caste and scheduled tribes? Because nowadays the question pattern is mostly between the uh, minor, minor, minute differences between the uh, caste or uh, tribes or anything for that matter, any uh, topic you can pick and from that the minute differences are being asked. So to be first, uh, we have we are today discussing about scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, the parameters that we have chosen and the differences between them, also known as scheduled caste are also known as Dalits, whereas scheduled tribes are also known as Adivasis. When uh, when we come to the articles that deal with the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, it is all about Article 341 of the constitution deal with the scheduled caste while Article 342 deals with scheduled tribes. Next, when we come to the spread, spread is something that decides the political uh, political activity of the tribes or caste for that matter. So, when we come to the spread as a parameter, we can see 1108 castes are recognized as part of the constitution and it is spread over 28 states. When it comes to scheduled tribes, uh, there are 744 tribes in India which are spread over 22 states. Actually, for that matter, if you are more keen to know where they are spread, you can actually Google them and have a map oriented look of them so that you will have a greater idea. Next, when we come to the constitutional bodies that are established for the welfare of these two scheduled castes and scheduled tribes, we can see that National Commission for Scheduled Castes uh, has been established under Article 338. When coming to the National Commission for Scheduled Tribes, it is that we have established a co constitutional body through 89th Constitutional Amendment Act, which was brought in in the year 2003. Uh, it is actually uh, this gives rise to 3, uh, Article 388A, which deals with a welfare of the scheduled tribes. In addition to this information, we can also, here I have provided two articles that in general deals with scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. It is that Article 16.4a for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. It generally deals with the reservations that are provided for this, uh, for the upliftment of these particular communities. This deals with the reservation in matters of promotion. When we come to article 46, this also deals with educational and you know uh, the upliftment of the uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, promote and protect the educational interests. Generally article 46 deals with this. Today in this whole video we have learned the major differences between scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and also the additional information that is required for them for this. If you have watched this video and you want more information, please do subscribe to Vishnu IAS Academy. Thank you for watching the video.